So Major Taylor and uh, and uh, Laney, uh, this is the engine box. Of course, the engine box had been remade because your boat was delivered with a six cylinder engine. Uh, and um, in 1955, they didn't have, they hadn't started putting eight cylinders in any of the boats yet. And uh, so this is a, this is a remake uh, in order to, in order to fit your uh, engine into that boat that's in there, um, the one your dad put in. So uh, anyway, the this panel has been replaced because basically the old pan, the original panel had completely rotted out. Um, this one was replaced because we had a, there was a couple of uh, openings and there were some some house floor registers uh, or maybe wall registers in here and that's not necessary for ventilation. Ventilation can be accomplished. Uh, basically the engine can do all the ventilating it needs because it's sucking in 300 cubic feet per minute of air uh, just for combustion. So it's going to completely, you know, keep on getting uh, emptying that, uh, uh, putting fresh air in that box and emptying the box um, of any fumes. Um, let's see what else was uh, I going to mention about the? the uh, I guess that's about it. Um, that's uh, we're approaching the end of uh, having the, getting your parts ready for your new interior. So. Uh, uh, which includes flooring. As you can see, there's the flooring pieces that we showed you the, that had been oil soaked. Uh, these are the replacements for those. Uh, and, uh, oh, there's one of those registers that we're not gonna put back in. Unless, of course, you tell me to, but I don't think you want that. Um, so anyhow, I just wanted to give you an update on that as well. And oh yeah, uh, I tried to find out, uh, we're getting a research package um there were about 200 made from 19 each year from 1955 to 1959 um and uh the uh, uh what was i gonna say oh yeah so that would mean there was four per state uh if you averaged out amongst the 50 states and um the uh, so what i asked the mariners museum to do was to look through the uh the the uh, uh, hull numbers and see if they had one that was uh, an early one in 1955 that was delivered to Louisiana uh, and I think they did find one so it's likely that we have by that by virtue of doing that we may have found the the correct hull card we still don't know the hull number for sure uh, because we could not find the hull number uh, stamped or written on anything. Um, at all in the boat. Uh, another clue we found that probably this sign, which we are saving for you, put the word out so we're saving that. Uh, there was an upholstery shop that, uh, that you said you saw a date on this somewhere, right? It, it looks to me that it says 428.83. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah, okay. So we think that the, um, the boat was reupholstered and carpeted and so forth in 83, uh, based, based on that information. So uh, anyhow, that's, uh, that's today's progress and uh, we'll talk to you soon.